from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. That's a drive deep into left center field. Way back there. Adios! Pelota! Ramos with a big fly. That's out toward the big part of the yard. It's about 420 feet to the spot. They don't have it listed out there, but it's about 420 to that part of the yard where he just hit it out. And it's 9-5 to five Giants. And he drives it into right center field. Hit a ton. This baby is way back. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. And today, we're talking San Francisco Giants. This is my second spring training update. We're going to talk about some of the players that have been doing well, some that haven't been doing so well, and give some overall thoughts. And so far, things are looking good. Does anything really matter so far? It's still February. We've still got a long way to go in spring training. And uh, that doesn't even talk about how long the season is. 162-game season where the Giants are definitely not one of the favorites this season to compete for anything. But having said that, we only have what we have, which is this tiny sample size to go off of. And so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Going to start with the offense, and then we'll get to the pitching, which, by the way, the pitching has been pretty extraordinary, especially the starting pitching, and we'll talk about that. But offensively, some of the younger guys, some of our future key guys are looking excellent and that's what i want to see that's one of the big things guys like belt crawford posey we know they're going to be okay they're going to make the team and they're going to contribute they've been through spring training a million times they got to do what they got to do to prepare not going to look too deep into them although they've done okay they've both they've all gotten some hits they look pretty comfortable at the plate so i'm not too worried about the normal guys but what about the youngsters, guys like Joey bart guys like avalino guys like dubon they look fantastic Joey Bart, the future catcher of the Giants, already has five hits in eight at-bats this spring with a double. With that opposite field bomb, he is off to an incredible start. And Dubon continues to hit the ball well, which is what I want to see. He's going to be a contributor this season. He'll be part of that San Francisco Giants team, so you'll want Dubon to play well. Also getting our first look at Hunter Bishop, and he looks to be swinging the bat pretty nicely. Going to be looking forward to seeing him move up the minor leagues and get an opportunity very soon at the big league level. Other guys, though, that I want to mention that have looked pretty good have been Ryan Howard. He crushed a home run I talked about earlier, and he's also got four hits now on the spring with two doubles, four for 11. So Ryan Howard, shout out to him. He's having a nice spring training so far. Also, who the hell is Sean Roby? I don't know, but he is 5 for 7 with 6 RBI, 2 walks. He's got an on-base percentage of 800 in the early stages of spring training. So Sean Roby, also one of my favorites, Donovan Solano. All he does is hit, so it's not a surprise that he's already got 3 hits in his first 6 at-bats. The guy hit 330 last year at the big league level. They need to put Solano on the team. I'm sorry, the guy hits. Jamie Westbrook also off to a nice start, 3 for 6. And shout out Elliot Ramos. One of our big prospects hit a home run the other day. So Elliot Ramos crushed a homer when he got brought up to Major League Spring Training. He was not, I don't believe, one of the main invites this year. But he's going to get some time in big league camp as well. So those are some of the key contributors so far. And a lot of guys I haven't mentioned have done fine, gotten two, three hits. You know, they're doing fine. A lot of them got nice batting average, three, four, five hundred right now in the very, very early stages. Not a big enough sample size to make any decisions, any um, definite decisions, but at least you have an idea of who's off to a nice start. And then, you know, in, in any game, this could change. A guy can go 0 for 4 and all of a sudden his stats don't look so good. But at least for the small sample size we have, those are the guys who have stood out to me. But there have been a few who have been off to a rough start. Yomer Sanchez, who's not the best hitter in the first place, he was brought over for his defense, but he's 0 for 6. I don't agree with that signing at all, actually, so I know he's a gold glove second baseman, but I would 100% prefer Dubon on the team. I prefer Solano on the team. Wilmer Flores would be another option, but anyway, Yomer Sanchez, all due respect, the guy's a gold glover, but he was 0 for 6 so far in spring training. Steven Duggar, 1 for 8 so far. That's fine, it's just 8 at-bats. He can turn that around with a quickness. Duggar is a good hitter, and I'm hoping he has a big spring. Austin Slater, one for seven so far. He's going to have to have a nice spring to crack the team and to continue to stay in the Giants organization. So Slater, one for seven so far. That pretty much covers the offense. The guys have hit well. The guy's off to a rough start. But all in all, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I mean, guys are hitting. They're getting on base. They're driving in runs. They're doing fine. And by the way, the Giants are winning games. They've won 
about five of the last six games, I'm not sure, but they have done pretty well after that first loss to the Dodgers. Then they beat the A's and they've continued to win. They tied with the White Sox. You know, record doesn't really matter in spring training, but I can tell you Giants are winning. They're on a nice little streak right now, so I'm really enjoying that. That is awesome to see. But the pitching, the pitching. We played, what, seven games, eight games spring training. The starting pitching for the San Francisco Giants has not given up a run. Oh, but Eric, they don't they don't pitch like, you know, seven, eight, nine innings in spring training. They only pitch, you know, an inning or two or three or something like that. Oh, okay, you know, at the beginning. Yeah, I get that. Add it all up, though. Add it all up. They got 16 innings between all the starters. Tyler Beatty, Johnny Cueto, Kevin Gosman, Derek Rodriguez, Jeff Samarja, Drew Smiley, Andrew Suarez have all started games so far, and they have 16 innings of work together, almost two full games, and they're still sitting at a 0.00 ERA. In fact, 25 total Giants pitchers have appeared in games counting relievers with a 0.00 ERA, including Carlos Navas, who has pitched three innings and has five strikeouts. Sean Jella, who has pitched two innings and he's looked fantastic he threw another scoreless inning and rodolfo martinez who looked absolutely sick the other day hitting 100 miles an hour on the gun picking up the save against the mariners so the starting pitching has looked fantastic is that 0.0 era a little misleading maybe so Derek rodriguez didn't look so great his first outing gave up a couple walks but you know what a 0.00 era is a 0.00 era they're going to give up some runs obviously this is not going to keep going but that's amazing that the giants starting pitching has look this good so far i mean that's great for them and johnny cueto came in pitched started a game and he looks great johnny cueto's a guy coming off of tommy john we're gonna need him to bounce back have a good year gonna need jeff samarja to have a big year and he looked really good jeff samarja somebody i read articles and like nobody's high on jeff samarja they think he's gonna be terrible this year he has had some terrible years but last year he looked pretty good during that time even though his era doesn't always look as good the guy's a good pitcher i mean if he can get on it He's going to be okay, and I'm hoping that Samarja has a big year, Cueto has a big year, and Tyler Beatty can make the team, and it'd be great if we see somebody like Derek Rodriguez have a nice spring, and of course, you got Webb, and then you got the two veterans trying to make the rotation, Kevin Gosman and Drew Smiley, who both looked all right so far as well. So, so far, loving the pitching. There have been a few guys who've gotten roughed up, so I got to mention them. Sean Anderson, who I hope makes the team, has already given up seven runs in 1.2 innings, but early spring hopefully he figures stuff out nick vincent got invited to camp again he's already given up three home runs in one and a third inning that's not good and also melvin adon who pitched a little bit with the river cats last year also pitched in double a richmond he's already given up three bombs he's got an era around 15 in the early stages of spring training all in all the pitching has been fine the pitching has been really impressive so far in these first six seven eight games and hopefully it continues that way. And I talked about the offense looking fine. You know, our regulars, they look all right. No big deal. And then guys like Joey Bart are tearing the cover off the ball. Guys like Dubon are looking really nice. Guys like Avalino is looking really, really good. You had a home run from Elliot Ramos. So right here in the early stages, I think that uh, everything looks fantastic. I'm loving what I'm seeing. We'll see how things go as spring training continues. And I'll have another video in about three or four or five days from now. We'll talk about the Giants again and how they're doing. San Francisco Giants off to a great start. About eight games in. They've already got five wins. They had a tie against the White Sox. So they have been looking really, really good so far. Loving the offense. Loving the starting pitching. The relief pitching. Got some nice names there popping up some guys i never heard of are looking really really good guys like rodolfo martinez and then you got some hitters coming out of nowhere like sean roby okay roby is coming through hit the subscribe button y'all have a fantastic day and i'll talk to you next time see ya when the giants come to town it's bye bye baby Every time the chips are